Hi, and welcome to Political Science 224, Canadian Government. My name is Dr. Jared Wesley, and I'll be your guide through the wonderful world of Canadian politics over the next four months. And it promises to be an interesting four months, to say the least. As all of us are aware, we're in the midst of a global pandemic, the likes of which the world hasn't seen in over a century. And the ensuing economic, social, and political unrest has made following politics and understanding government all the more stressful, but also all the more important. So I'm glad that you're with us to walk through the, the world of Canadian government over the next four months. But it's also gonna be stressful for a whole other host of reasons. If you're like me, you're working from home or someone else's home. Some of you may have caregiving responsibilities for children, other family members, Others of you may struggle to find social connection at all, uh, living alone, whether it be here or in other parts of the world, and I get that. In the grand scheme of things, one university course doesn't mean a lot. But I hope you'll find that it means a lot to me to make that experience as convenient and meaningful as possible. If you're like me, this may be one of your first experiences learning or teaching in an online environment. I've tried to keep the course structure simple and streamlined. I've tried to make the technology that we'll be using as accessible as possible. I've tried to keep the costs down. But you may still encounter challenges along the way, and I want you to know that I'm here to support you uh, in any way that I can. In this introductory video, I just wanted to give you an introduction to the course structure and show you a bit about the technology that we'll be using so that when we start class on September 1st at 9.30, you'll know first of all how to get there, but secondly, what to expect. So the course itself will be obviously delivered through remote learning, which means that a lot of the passive learning that you would have uh, done in the classroom through standard lectures will be delivered online. And those will be asynchronous. In other words, we won't be doing them all together. You'll have, be able to access those videos through a YouTube site, as well as through the Perusal platform, which I'll explain in a minute. And you'll be able to do them at your own pace, to an extent. I'd encourage you to watch those videos in, in order and as we proceed through the course, because as you'll see, there'll be quizzes and tests along the way that will challenge your, your knowledge of the information that's found in those, in those lectures. Those lectures are gonna be delivered by myself, and two of my colleagues, Dr. Fio Snagovsky, also from the University of Alberta, as well as Dr. Alex Marlin, who's, the, who's my co-author on the course textbook. He's from the Memorial University in Newfoundland. We've tried to design those videos to be as accessible and entertaining as possible. You'll find that we're not going to lecture at length for more than 10 to 12 minutes. And we've tried to make the recurring segments that we deliver every week somewhat predictable in terms of their structure. More on that on Tuesday the 1st. So you'll have a series of online lectures that you're responsible for viewing before we gather on a weekly basis, some of us. Um, and you'll also be responsible for a series of readings in the course textbook, which is, as I mentioned before, uh, Inside Canadian Politics uh, that Alex Marlin and I uh, just recently published. During the week, you may not be able uh, to access uh, the classroom uh, for a variety of reasons. You may not have the technology or something may come up in your life that prevents you from participating in what we call synchronous or live action workshops that will be delivered throughout the term. And that's okay. You, you will be offered the option of attending one of two online workshops that will happen during the regularly scheduled class period. And you'll also have the ability to, if you're not able to do so, log online uh, and part participate in asynchronous forum discussions. These forum discussions will be familiar to those of you that have done uh, e-class forum or uh, nested blog style conversations about the course material. Again, the goal here is to make this course delivery as flexible as possible for you, but also to appeal to different learning styles. So for some of you, you know, getting together uh, for one hour a week doing hands-on workshop activities with your classmates is the way to learn. For others of you, you may prefer the online forum, uh, which is more textual and, and written, uh, to that more in-person 
uh, live experience. Totally up to you. And we'll have different grading rubrics for each of those two options. And you'll be able to, from week to week, choose which of those types of activities you want to engage in. There'll be a series of quizzes held every other week throughout the term to make sure that you are uh, learning the material in a timely fashion, as well as a final examination, which will be cumulative throughout the entire term. And there'll be a series of research assignments, including a research proposal and a final research paper that will be due at the end of the term. The overall goal here is to make you critical uh, consumers and competent producers of Canadian politics and government so that when you leave this course, you're able, able to succeed in, in courses, higher level courses in Canadian politics and other subjects at university. So let me just walk you through the, uh, the E-Class site so you know what to expect uh, when you arrive. So you'll log in through the normal E-Class portal where you'll find our, our page, open it up and you'll see this. You can see that the course itself is structured around uh, course materials and tools at the top, followed by a series of topics at the bottom. Those two assessments that I mentioned to you before, your research proposal and your final paper, will also be submitted directly through eClass. In short, eClass is kind of the hub for the site. Hub for the course, I should say. And you'll find links to everything that you're going to need. First, uh, note that I'll be making course announcements through eClass. So you'll want to make sure that you're paying attention at the top, at the top right of your uh, control panel here for eClass. You'll notice that there's this um, speech bubble. There'll be alerts that appear there when there are announcements related to our class. So don't expect those to come through email, but rather they'll come through eClass. Got a link to the course syllabus here. Uh, please feel free to click that, have a look at it. Um, and if you have any questions, you can lo lower down in the eClass forum here, click on the question board, pose your question there. Um, because in a lot of cases, if you have a question about the course material and the syllabus, somebody else has probably had that same question. So I'm, I prefer that we answer those in public so that we all uh, benefit from the results of the answers. The next link that you'll find on the eClass site is to Perusal. I'm gonna come back to that because Perusal is the uh, app through which we will be viewing the textbook and the lecture videos. I've also provided a link to the lecture video uh, YouTube site as well, in case that's a more preferred platform for you to view those videos. On our first day of class on Tuesday, September 1st at 9.30, you'll be asked to join us via Zoom. So for those of you not familiar with it, you just simply click on the Zoom room here. It will take you to a list of different uh, meetings that, that, are, uh, that we'll have throughout the term. This first one, course introduction, is scheduled, as I mentioned before, for Tuesday, September 1st. I'll change this. It's supposed to be 9.30, not, not 9 a.m. Um, you'll log in at, at 9.30 uh, by simply clicking the Join button, and it'll take you to another um, another window that will open up and you'll be able to join through Zoom. For those of you unfamiliar with Zoom, uh, it's a standard video conferencing system that uh, most instructors at the University of Alberta will be using this term. Um, make sure if you are going to access the room using your video that you've got an appropriate backdrop, obviously. Uh, and if you don't wanna be visible, that's okay. Just make sure to mute your camera and you'll, you'll be automatically viewed, muted in terms of your audio when you enter that room. So you'll go to that Zoom room on the first day and I'll explain uh, a lot more about the course when you join. The rest of the eClass site uh, allows you to book an office hours appointment. If you click here, it will take you to my Calendly site. So it's a scheduling um, app that allows you to click on a day that you might wanna have a meeting with me. So in this case, we'll go over to September. Let's say that you would like to meet with me on September 11th. It actually shows you a series of dates and times uh, that you can click. You simply click on one of them that you would like to book uh, an appointment with me for, and then it'll take you to an information sheet that will allow you to fill out why you'd like to meet with me. And it will also offer you the option of putting that, that event in your own calendar, which is pretty cool. I also have a series of uh, other forums that you're able to engage in on the eClass site, including a question board 
So again, if you have any questions about the course content or structure, feel free to click on the question board and pose that. If over the course of the term you find additional resources, insights, or other materials that you find useful and, and other students might benefit from, by all means, post it in the Dig Deeper forum. And lastly, because we are all distant physically this uh, semester, I did want to offer an opportunity for you to engage with your classmates through the Course Cafe. So it's an opportunity for you if you're really interested in, in talking about a particular topic that we're covering in, in class or something that's happening out there in the real world. By all means, feel free to contribute to that conversation in the Course Cafe. All right. So I want to circle back now and show you a bit about the Perusall platform, which is again where you'll be able to access uh, the textbook, purchase the textbook, and um, and also engage with lecture videos. So if you click on that link, it will take you to this site. Here you'll find uh, the most important link up here is to library. We will not be filtering our assignments through the Perusall link, so don't expect to see anything on that tab. Rather, click on library and it will take you to this. And this site uh, has access to our textbook. So one of the first things you'll want to do, and I strongly recommend it, but do not require it, is to purchase the textbook through the Perusall site. So you can see how much it costs uh, to purchase the textbook, either on a three-year, one-year, or half-year basis. To do that, you simply click on open. It will take you to a site where you can pay by credit card using any of those particular options. Okay, enter it in, complete your purchase. And once that is done, you'll have access to the textbook itself in, in e-form. Now I'm gonna go over this when we, get, when we gather on September the 1st, but the reason why we're using the Perusall platform is it allows you as a student um, the opportunity to engage not only with me as an instructor as you're doing your readings, but also to engage with your classmates. So when you're on Perusall, from week to week, you will be assigned different group mates. In other words, different teammates that you'll work with on readings throughout the entire term. And this allows you to make comments about the textbook, uh, contents, things that you don't understand, you can highlight and put a comment and say, I don't understand this. And your classmates may be able to help you answer that question, or I'll, I'll see those comments as well, and I can chime in either uh, on the Perusall site or in uh, the next workshop that we hold together. So it's a really neat platform uh, that allows a bit of social interaction that we're missing when, when we're physically distant. You'll also find links there. When, once the lecture videos are prepared, they'll be uploaded to the Perusall site. You can make similar comments at different points in each video, again, allowing you to interact with me and allowing you to interact with your classmates. So through these and other ways, we're really trying to replicate um, as best we can an in-person uh, learning environment. We're not gonna be able to do it totally. And I know that's gonna be frustrating to a lot of you that do appreciate that kind of in-person interaction. I do too, I prefer it. That's not our reality, unfortunately. So we're gonna make the best of it and we're gonna try some new things. And I hope that you'll enjoy uh, interacting with the course material as much as I do. As I said before, it's a really interesting and important time to be studying Canadian government politics. And I, I look forward to working with you throughout the course of the semester. Take care, and we'll see you on Tuesday, September the 1st.